As we described earlier, to move forward with running or walking, all we have to do is fall. Now, falling is not really a natural motion. The most common fault, or one of the most common faults you'll see in novice runners, is they're going to break at the waist, and that's because falling is not natural. If we're going to fall off a cliff, we'll stick our hips back so that we feel a little bit more comfortable and one key to good running technique is maintaining that posture and you'll often see that if you're watching high level runners those that are able to maintain their posture throughout are going to be more successful at the end of a race so I'm just gonna have Derek stand here and he's gonna fall into me it's a trust game I'm not gonna drop him try to match athletes up of similar size because you don't want somebody getting dropped when they're doing this good so the whole point of this drill, that's good, and then I'm going to have the girls do it as well. The whole point of this drill is going to be to get comfortable maintaining posture, get a little bit closer to each other, especially at first when you're first doing this drill. And our, our tendency is to want to break at the waist when we do this. They're going to fall forward, push each other back. I'm just going to do it two more times, and then they're going to change partners. Okay, so we can call these fall drills or we can call these postural drills. What we're really trying to do is we're trying to maintain posture regardless of the angle that we're falling at. Good. So when we're running, we're doing this from a single point stance, from a single point of contact. So what we're going to work on now is we're going to do the same drill from a mid stance position. So we'll get to this in a minute, but the ideal mid stance position is going to be your heel right underneath your hip and you're balanced. So I'm going to have Derek stand in his mid stance position on one foot and then he's going to fall into me. Maintain good posture. And it is hard to maintain your balance with this. Okay, and then I'm going to have him switch feet, keeping the heel right underneath the hip. He's going to fall. Good. Now the girls are going to do the same drill. And we're going to watch them. This is the first time they've done this drill. So the one that's falling, heels right underneath the hip, falling without breaking at the waist. Good. And the first time most people do this drill, their tendency is going to be to break at the waist. You don't realize how ingrained that is until you actually see it happen or you try to do this yourself. Okay, so the heel is going to be right underneath the hip. There we go. And if we're looking at it from the opposite side, we're going to see that her leg is in the A position or figure four position. A lot of athletes will tend to let their heel get further behind them, but we want to make sure we maintain posture and she broke at the waist just a little bit. So. When we say fall, we're not falling from the shoulders, we're actually falling leading from the hips because that's our center point. Keeping everything together and her tendency is to want to break at the waist and that's again most people's tendency, but I want her to fall from her hips. So lead with your hips, there you go, that's a little bit better. Don't let yourself bend over at the waist. And the last point is bringing this heel underneath you. Let's do two more that way. Hold here, nice, lead, lead with your hips, keep your chest nice and tall.